I'll just open this world and not go in it. For now. You need 10 of us, Pages, to unlock this world. Do you want to unlock Capital Cas Casino? I don't know how much you've been keeping up with the news about the these microtransactions and loot boxes, but the whole... But it got, like, into quote-unquote mainstream news, the whole, uh... Eleven. Think you're about... We'll think about it. I'm not sure you is quite up for the harder challenges, the expanded world. Um, the whole uh, <laughs> Battlefront 2 closing like their whole microtransaction side. I thought that was pretty interesting. But uh, you know they're trying to do that to regain a little bit of the goodwill of the customers. And I think people shouldn't forget that they just turned it off for some time. They explicitly said that they completely plan to turn it back on, but by then, I think they're hoping for the time that people aren't, aren't as angry about it anymore. People have forgotten about it and then turn it back on. Uh, I'm not sure how much I trust them uh, after they turn it back on either. Um... What am I even doing up here? Where does this lead to? How will Lizard and Bad become friends anyway? That doesn't make sense. But yeah, so I'm, I'm not very trusting on the on this whole like we're getting rid of our microtransactions. I don't think they are. Well, they aren't, but, like, I don't think they're gonna improve it that much. The game was built with that in mind. Like, systems are in place so that you need the microtransactions. Not need, but, like, they are made... The game is bound so that the only really viable way is with the microtransactions. I'm guessing that that's for Area 5. It's really sad that games are going that way. And I mean, it's only really going to improve. Can I pull it all the way back? Yes, I can. It's only really going to improve when people... It's only really going to improve when uh, people stop buying these games. And honestly, that's what I'm going to do, because if it's going to be balanced like that, I'm just not going to get them. <laughs> no reason. You know, it's, it's entertainment after all. I don't need to. I don't need to be getting these these games, especially if it like supports a really completely terrible uh, business model. Just really annoying. Oh, I can push it way past. It. There we go. Kaya says, uh, "Yeah, they still got it on Battlefield One and COD World War Two. I think it's sad though." Yeah, it really is. And COD World War II, all the most games have it nowadays. I don't know if you saw, but there's a list of like games that have it. And this year alone, there's been 17, I think. And before that, there's only like four or five in history <laughs> that have the the loot boxes. And this year alone, we we have most of them. <laughs> most of the big titles. And they're so terrible. The um. The one for, um, what's the name? Shadow of War. It's gross <laughs> because it's a single player game and they have loot boxes. And if you don't get the loot boxes, you have to grind for so long. It's terrible. 
Like, people say you can't really complete the game if you either grind, if you don't grind for like so many hours. I forget, I'm not gonna say a random number, but like apparently it's a really annoying amount. <laughs> it's not a fun amount that you need to grind to be able to, to keep going. Um, but it's just a thing you, you've got to do, or pay for the loot boxes. And the sad thing is that there are people that say it's fine. I'm gonna go back to the camera. I did that challenge, but I'm gonna go back to the camera. Um, people that are like, ah, it's okay. Um, it's fine. And honestly, I'll, I'll be completely honest, I was one of those people. Or... Overwatch. Overwatch was like the one that really popularized it recently. And uh... I'll, I'll be the first to say I, I was completely wrong. Because in that one it was just like, oh, it's cosmetic. And I think it's better, but I still think it's not a good business model. And uh... I completely supported that. And I um... Uh, I think I'm very much wrong. <laughs> I think it's just a bad idea. It's a way for them to make more money, sure, but it's terrible for the consumer. It sucks, really. It's really funny, but it's true, the fact that, like, a lot of these jokes we find online are, like, people... People being, like, oh, remember when you unlocked all these skins, you unlocked all these parts of the game, and it already came in the game? And it's true. And it's funny that Nintendo is still doing that. You still unlock costumes and everything in the game. Kaya okay, says, what? That's more like an MMORPG style. The Shadow of War, right? And um, I actually saw a lot of backlash with loot boxes. And that's the thing, loot boxes, not even in MMOs, loot boxes were a huge thing, from what I understand. I might be wrong about this one. Um, weren't a big thing. Yes, you had to, like, grind and stuff, but, uh... Or pay for the, the premium things, but... Here's the thing, right? The premium things now aren't just <laughs> premium things. You literally have to... You're paying for something you don't even know that will get you the what you need to to w win you don't know what you're getting it's random five random objects in a loot box which is even worse it's what people have been saying it's kind of like gambling and it kind of is you're paying for um uh, things you don't know and you might get a bunch of trash you might get nothing Is this earlier on? I bet it is, right? Otherwise... Yes, that is. Cool. It's by the first world. Did I have anything in the... F What's this? Oh, I see. Um... Was there anything in the first world? Nope. I'm going to the second one. Um... But yeah, it's still random. It's gambling, really. So, again, I don't know if that's how it was in MMOs, but I heard that there was a huge backlash with Guild Wars 2 recently for being uh, for adding loot boxes specifically. Before, yeah, you had to grind for the, to try getting the more premium objects, but at least you got to buy them. Now it's loot box mode, and you don't even get to buy them. Why is this here? Probably for this area I've never been to. <laughs> Up here. Yeah, it is. Maybe. But yeah, so like, I've been seeing a lot of backlash in a bunch of different games. Including, again, Guild Wars 2 and MMO. About using it like this. What was another one I was about to talk about? Um, uh, Call of Duty! World War 2. What a horrible thing they did with their loot boxes. <laughs> it's kind of funny even, but it's mostly sad. They 
the loot boxes, there's a loot box area in the game where you see yourself opening your loot box, but you also see other players opening their loot boxes. And the reason why that exists is so that you want to, if you see someone else getting a cool item, you will want to pay more to get said cool item, just like the other person. And the place where this happens in the game is on the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> like, in the middle of D-Day, this is happening. And apparently there were quite a few people that were offended by that. Not like, you know, ah, oh, just the usual, oh, I'm offended for, you know, not even no reason, but like, sometimes the things people are offended at are, don't make much sense. But in this one, I can kind of see it, like, people that were in the war, people that lost families <laughs> in the war at D-Day, now they have um, made it a shopping place for uh, loot boxes, where you see other people buying those. Oh, this is the wrong one. Here you go. Where you see people buying loot boxes. <laughs> And, uh, you want to gamble away some more money where, you know, great, the great-grandparents of so many people died and suffered in a war. So, uh, I thought that was pretty nasty. <laughs> uh, Kaya says about the... The uh, Guild Wars 2, I'm guessing. It's the same, tempting with rare, ultra, ultra rare stuff I, to buy more uh, loot boxes or spins. Okay, so it's just as nefarious. But yeah, it wasn't a big thing before. Like, it, it wasn't in every game. But like I said, it was like in a few games, and now it's in literally every big game. Assassin's Creed also has it, but it's not nearly as bad. They go with the cosmetic uh, method, I'm pretty sure. I think you can buy weapons too, but none of them are required. I think they're, they're more in the old style, it's so sad that I'm saying old style, of microtransactions. Where, uh, they make the game easier, but they're not necessary at all. So sad <laughs> that this is, like, normal now. Um, but yeah, Assassin's Creed Origins also has it. Every major game has it. Except for the Bethesda game. Bethesda is pretty good about that. They have been not including too many. Except, uh, sorry. I will be a little bit more clear. Bethesda Publishing is better. Bethesda Studio is absolutely horrible <laughs> with it. They're gross. <laughs> they tried selling you horse armor before anyone else did. They were there. They haven't done loot boxes, but they haven't released a game yet. Bethesda Studios, the makers of the Fallout and the Elder Scrolls game. They haven't made a game since the whole loot box craze has started. But they made that horrible with Fallout and Skyrim recently. They made that whole thing for buying mods. Which, you know, mods are usually for free. And the free mods that you find in Nexus are so much better. <laughs> than the ones they offer, and you have to pay, and they are expensive. It's like five bucks for. Oh, I can break this now, right? No, I can't. Uh, it's like five bucks for uh, armor, stuff like that. It's terrible. Yeah, it's just been getting really gross. And I hope it doesn't become normalized, because that's what they're hoping for. They're hoping that people just stop caring. It becomes, like, something that people talk about so much that they just stop caring about it. You know, like, ah, oh, stop talking about it. I've heard people complaining about that so much, but we need to complain. I don't want every game in the future to be like Shadow of Mordor when it comes to single player, where the single player games have uh, loot boxes that are necessary. 
Otherwise you lose. I don't want that to be a thing. I used it the wrong way. This is room two. Room one, okay. See, this. there's so many better ways of doing this. Zelda Ocarina of Time did it so well. Breath of the Wild also actually did it in a very interesting way, but if we're going with the more 90s games just like this one, uh, Ocarina of Time did it with sound, so you knew where it was coming from by the stereo, and if you got closer to the door that was the right one, you, you had a hint. This one's kind of like guessing, I think. Maybe the sign says it. If you get lost, just give me a shout. Dory X. A shout. Can I... Nope, doesn't do anything. Yeah. Because it says keyword being yet. And that's true. That's why we can't support it. If we keep supporting it and they sh see it's okay... They're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> They're just gonna keep doing it. Because if people buy it, if no one has a problem with it, then it's fine. There we go. It can't be three times the same one. Right? It has to be a different one. Open this one. Nope. It's down, down. Forward. Or down. It was down, down, down. And again, there is no puzzle to this. It's just guessing, otherwise you get it wrong. It's just trial and error. Which is... It's not fun. <laughs> Probably has to be this one now, right? Yay. I'm guessing down. If you make me go back to one now... Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm... That's another good thing about not buying it day one. They usually count the sales if a game succeeded or not in the first month. Um, and that's why I try to support games that actually do what they said right at the beginning. Because that's how they count if it succeeded or not. And, uh... I'm gonna try. This one. Th th wait, is it the same one I used? Oh no, okay, I got it. Yeah. We can save the butterfly. Oh, oh! I see, that's clever. Melt it in the light. Nope, not clever. <laughs> it's not what it is. Oh, not about melting in the light, it's about pushing the light. I'm pushing the light, yo. <laughs> Wait, what, what does that do exactly? I need to be able to reflect the light onto the pagey. I need to become a mirror. I don't think I have that power yet. Maybe it's to become a boot. There we go. Phew! Thought I was going to be stuck here until the sequel. This, is, this was interesting. This actually made me think. It was something that they didn't teach. Although, you know, there are probably better ways of doing it than not teaching me. But, uh, this was interesting. It made me use actual, like, real-world logic. Refractions and stuff. <laughs> This was an interesting challenge. They didn't just give it to me. I appreciate that. Alright, that was it. That was the camera. They see, like, they put these challenges so far away from the entrance. If I knew it was just that, 
I thought there would be a whole area back there. I knew it was just that I might have not come back for that. Like, when once the game shows you that sometimes it's not worth to go back, it kind of stays with you. The game needs to teach you and show you that if it wants you to go back to these areas, it needs to be worth it. Because of the amount of pages that I need, it's not really worth it to me. Because I have so many extra pages already. It all comes down to, like, basic game design, really. Like, how... how is it worth it? How is it not? And I'm not, like, a game designer or anything, but that's just... What it always boils down to is, is it fun? Or not? That's all a game needs to be. It needs to be fun. Some of them achieve that through story. Some of them achieve them through gameplay. Or play both. But like Mario doesn't have a great story. It's super fun to play. This, These games don't have a story. Like a heavy story, right? It has a basic story. They all do, but nothing that's like mind-blowing. Still super fun to play. Love playing these games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that over there? Out of pagey. How do I get there? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a whole area to this level I have never explored. Completely forgot. It was this way. Alright, good night, Kaya. Thank you for sticking around. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, it's the hee 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 guy. Swimming. Like how do how do I avoid sliding? By swimming. Yeah, like the amount of pages I've been able to get naturally without being like, oh I have to go back. Can't believe it. Um like I didn't need to go come back here. I was opening the worlds just fine. Um the amount of pages I've been getting. They could have made it. So the limit to get to open new worlds was uh, a little bit higher. But I think because of how they made it, so that you can either get a new world or expand a world, that's where the problem be uh, shows up. Because uh, I'll talk to this guy and I'll finish. Navigate around dodgy quiz earlier. Ah, oh, shucks. How about go for a ride instead? Find some pretty gems. Yeah, let's do it. Go on then, it looks warmer in, the, in there anyway. Great, jump in, let's go. If a page is your apps, 100, cool. Doesn't, not too much. Um, Um, oh no, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Exactly why she kept talking. I like this music. That one was tough. I kind of want to go back and try it. Eighty. Not enough. Um. Oh yeah, because they were um. They decided to divide it between making it.
divide it between opening a new world or expanding it, and that's why they probably have to make the requirements so low. But I think at that point, what they should do, it should it should vary between a variable amount of points depending on what you do first. I did that wrong. Let's try that again. Uh, so if you expand a world first, then getting to the next world is more expensive, or vice versa. Because otherwise, if, for someone that's tr a bit of a completionist like myself, like I'm not crazy, right? I'm not going for, for the complete, but like I like to get a lot. I don't just stay with like the bare minimum. Like, oh, I got what I needed. I'm gonna move. No, I try to get as many as I can. So, for those situations, I think they definitely could have pretty easily done it so that... Oof! Try it again. Yeah, done it so that it's a better amount. I'm having a hard time timing those jumps. So that it didn't feel so easy. Like, even though I am going through a lot of challenges that I technically don't need to, I do it because I enjoy it, right? And I guess that's also a... a, uh, a possibility, like, you could say... It's better if you do it like that. Ah, ah. This one's harder than World 3. I guess, like, some people would agree that, yeah, it that's how it should be, right? Uh, how it is right now. It should be just something people... Come on! People do for fun. It sh the level should be low, so you could advance if you don't want to keep playing it too much. And people who want to do it higher... Uh, want to do more challenges, they're open to. I just think that the level is too low. It's too low. Like, I have over, like, three times the amount I need. Three times? Yeah, like, I, w I needed eight and stuff, right? For each one. And I have actually more than three times, really. Because I had 40 at the time. That one's really tough. I might make it. Yeah, I got it. Nice. Yeehaw, nice one, partners. Hoo-wee, what a ride. Of course, riding track was even more exciting back in the good old days. Uh, Y'all don't know how lucky you is with these checkpoints and speed bursts, but you see in my day. Oh uh -huh. uh, yeah, very interesting, Cardos, but better run, lots of stuff to do, and things to collect, ha <laughs> Thank goodness that's over. I was about to die of boredom. 25. What's the challenge here? Oh, I 
can just do normal gun here. Gonna need one of these though. Oh, it's not timed. <laughs> that was uh, expecting it to be timed. Not the case, though. Like, why is it not timed? The challenge level needs to be a little bit higher. I think that's the point. Oh, is that? That's the other half of the point I think I should be making here. It's too easy for the difficulty that it offers. If it's going to have such a low uh, bar for the amount you, can, you need to gather in a collectathon game, it needs to be harder. And I think Banjo Kazooie got it right more than this, at least. I need to go back and replay those games. I really do. I need to, you know, it's a necessity. <laughs> but, um. I want to go back. I want to try them again. I need to get them somehow working. I would love if I could get the Xbox 360 version of Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. But it's so hard to do that. And I mean, I don't have an Xbox. <laughs> and, uh, I don't. I honestly don't have the money to. Get an Xbox. Um, probably could find a 360 for pretty cheap, but still. Here's an area I never went to, even though it was here all along. Oh, it's because it has fire. Fire. I know how to fix that. Should make me fireproof. Yep. Great. Hello. Alright, I'm out of this world. I'm gonna start the casino world. See what that looks like. Yeah, this is a way longer stream than usual for me. I'm hoping to make it them a little bit longer. Let's see now. Was there a shortcut to World 3? Can't remember of any shortcuts. I think it just happens to go this way. And they didn't do anything with this library, the archive. I thought that they would do something interesting with it. Oh, I hear, I hear a jingly. Spells P. Nice. Like they, I feel that they could have really used this area a little bit more. It's interesting. Like this idea, this book idea. I think it would be interesting to have a level with that thing. Because that's very much a theme. The rest of it's kind of like, or the, you know, the, not business, but the factory thing. Which is obviously what this is. But like, that one room in particular is not. It's kind of interesting. And it just seems to be there. It doesn't seem to go anywhere.
Oops. Just gonna get there. Oh, I'm out of- I'm out of juice. Oh, I get it. It goes until you're out of juice. I thought it, it was a limited time. No, it's just... Wow, it goes up weird. <laughs> the meter. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Alright, let's see what this world's all about. Well, it's a casino, but... This is the last world I saw on trailers and stuff, and it looked bad. <laughs> looked completely empty. Hope it's not. What do these cameras do? Okay, was wondering. That's what they did. Alright, can you uninvisibilize me? Hello. Hello, do we know you? Nope, absolutely not. You've never seen me, the friendly casino banker, before you. Phew, for a moment there, I thought you were that tubby rent-a-villain, capital B. He's a right loser. Mm. Oh yes, right, loser. Anyway, sirs, allow me to introduce my banking facility. By winning the absolutely not crooked games in this casino, you'll collect tokens that can be cashed in at my bank. If by some miracle you manage to scrape together tan casino tokens, each time you'll do, I'll exchange them for a shiny pagey. Just make sure you don't do anything silly, like bet all your pages on black. It'll be a shame if your collection ended up in the banker's vault. Yes, a real crying shame. We'd be very silly if we did that, haha. <laughs> yep, that'd be a really dumb move. A right capital B move. Uh, yes. Good luck, sirs. Do your best not to go bankrupt in my, uh, in our casino. You'll be needing ten tokens before you, I hand over a pagey. Good luck winning that many. Oh, look, there's an arrow. Hello. Welcome, my old muckers, do you, to Trouser's most exclusive outlet. Exclusive, as in, we're only your only customers? Ah, all the glitz and glamour reminds me of the old days on the trading floor. Trousers' high-stakes trades earned legendary status. They even named the currency after me. That's a really nice trouser. Anyway, about your moves. Yes, yes, have a look at, what, at what's in stock. We have here. One, Reptile Rush. Spin dash like a speedy gaming icon trousers. Yeah, 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 like yeah. top choice. Sure this is the move you're after. Yes it is. The only one too. Ah. This move all about. I'm glad you asked. This next move will let you spin dash like the speedy gaming icon trouser. That's weird. We haven't seen you you move at yeah. all. Fast as lightning I am. Yeah, yeah. Use Reptile Rush to hold right trigger and X to charge an attack. Don't forget to use big ramps and slides. All right, cool. So I'm guessing something like this. Nope, nothing like that. <laughs> Good to know. Again. Generic, <laughs> simple bad guys. Please give me something more. This game has a thing for adding thing things to. For adding things to the triggers. 
After you trade us casino chips with the banker. After a page, you are you? Oh, yeah. Need to read that right. Oh. Yay! Oh, there's a lot of these casinos. Ow! No. This would be where you would really want your camera to work really well. And not do what it's doing right now. Okay. This camera does horribly in tight spaces. No. Can you come back down, please? Thank you. Um, there's a slide here. Did you literally reappear from me turning? Nope. Okay. I just missed. What's this? What's this all about? What's this? Oh, it's probably when I expand the world. Alright, good to know. Oh. Let's see. Hello? What are you? What are you? Oh, I see. <laughs> Help, thief! Calm down, sir. What seems to be the problem? A no good gang of youths have stolen my special playing card. Those dirty thieves are the worst kind of criminals. How am I supposed to rig my poker games without the special card? I don't suppose you could. Which way did they go? Right up the ramp, the scoundrels. You'll be needing some sort of special move to get after them, I imagine. Yep, I have said special move now. Can you help me out? Go on then, it's too early to hit the refreshments anyway. Great! When you catch him, tell him we don't appreciate cheats in this casino. I, um, to go back to the, the whole, I talked a lot about it, but I, I haven't really, like... Oh, it's the other one. I haven't given it much thought. Not thought, sorry. I didn't, haven't said it much about it. And it's the, um, the whole enemy, uh, situation in this game. How it doesn't have a lot of variety. So, I wanted to use, uh... Uh-oh. I wanted to use a game that they made. Called, uh, Camera. Camera, please. No, it's not called Camera, Camera, Please. Um... There's a special card. This is going to be easy. It's called Banjo-Kazooie, the game that they made that has a lot better enemies. We'll take the first world, where like it seems like there isn't a huge enemy variety, but it does. Alright, I'm guessing then that this is of this situation. Um, so in the first world, I forget the name, but you have the, your usual, like, gremlin en enemies. But then you have a very different and unique enemy, I think you meet him again at some point later, but, which is a monkey. A monkey that throws... You gotta be kidding. That throws uh, oranges at you, and you can use the... Oranges for, as part of a mission was very creative. You use the enemy's projectile against them. 
Um, another one in that same stage was the bull. It was a bull, and how you had to beat him is just... Well, you really didn't beat him, as far as I understood, but... You learned that there were enemies. This was all in the first level. There were enemies that you couldn't beat. Also in that level, ants. The ants were the creatures you could transform into in that level. Just like in this one, every level had a transforming thing. That one was ants, and... They were enemies too. They didn't like you if you weren't an ant. And, uh, stop looking at me, little card buddy. Uh, we found your cheat card, slothead. Thank you. Have turned me into a vending machine and not serve food either. Here, take my tokens as a reward and I'll make them back within the hour. Anyway. Awesome. Yeah. Hey. Um. So, in one level, they had what? So, the, the goblin dudes, the monkey, the. Oh, look at that. Nice cover art. The bull and the ants. Four completely different types of enemies. Uh, that move differently, that acted differently, uh, in one stage. Here we literally see one, two types of enemies. Sorry, we have the eyeballs. And that's it. And that's, that's where I'm coming from when I say that. This isn't very good enemy variety. Uh, om nom nom. I don't think your puny knights are able to help me out. You puny knights are able to help me out this time. What? Oh, I need to transform into something. Under constructions. Please enjoy and maintain hall attractions or return until your room. Probably when I expand it. And that's the annoying thing about the expansion idea. It's cool, but they already have parts of it that you can see and try. Like, not try it because they're blocked off, but like, you can see in in the pre-expansion level. Which is really annoying, because then you don't really know. It should just be a completely new area. There shouldn't be like, half routes that you go to and you kind of see what might be there. But yeah, the enemy variety continues in the other levels in Banjo Kazooie. Uh, it's the most fun, least suspect gliding game in town. Hello, we're interested in trying your fun, unsuspicious gliding game, please. Of course you are. Only a cuckoo chameleon would pass up a lucrative scam. Um, spree such as this. All you've got to do is win. To win is reach the end of my course and glide through every hoop along the way. It's easy. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. That sounds fairly straightforward. We'll give it a go. Excellent. Make sure you don't drop your wallet during those jumps. There are lots of thieves about. You know. Okay. supposed to go? I, I don't see the next one. Oh, there it is. Where's the next one? Oops. 
You gotta be kidding me. Come on! <laughs> oh, this one is driving me insane. I hate when stuff like that happens. Get, Get me out of there. Get me out of this loop. Come on. Yes! No. weird that the entrance requires you to go invisible. I have a good amount of tokens I'll exchange for one. Uh, great. It looks like that way. Here you are. Take your winnings. Why would you be giving me? That one doesn't make any sense. Why are you giving me pages? Alright, let's try this challenge again. Alright, yep. See, this one has less to say, I think, than, like, the pumpkin that we kept retrying over and over and over. He says, welcome back, he doesn't say the exact same thing every time. time here. Okay, this is... Let's trouble someone. Right. This one's weird. This specific air shaft works really weird. It's overly powerful. Winnings from here. Yeah. Crikey! You made it to the end. It's a crap heap for me, but. Uh... Oh, is that a race? Oh no, that's golf. I want to try golf. I'm a fan. <laughs> I like golf games. <laughs> it's a weird one, but I do find them very enjoyable, especially Mario Golf. Mario Golf is really fun. Where's the beginning of this? I guess I'll become the golf ball and try to figure it out. Oh no, there is. Oh no, it's a pushing game. It's my worst nightmare. Where do you go? What? Oh, is this the entrance to the level? Yep, okay. Did it the long way. Welcome, chumps, um, customers. Fancy your hand at golf, do you? Uh -huh. We've never played golf before, actually, but we'll, we'll give it a go on the capital casino. Uh -huh. Splendid! Allow me to share the absolute non-crooked rules of a casino golf. Uh -huh. Rule 1, tee off with a forceful swing. Reptile rush move is recommended. Uh -huh. Rule 2, transport the ball to the hole before the timer runs. Rule 3, all pages must be left with me before the round starts. Don't worry, I'll take good care of them. Not sure about the last rule, I think we're going to ignore it. Right. Nope, wrong button. Where's the ball? Oh my god, it's super light. <laughs> 
Please tell me it dropped. Camera, please. Does the sand not even matter? Almost there. Come on. Easy. Or is it? Easy. <laughs> wow, well, I mean, wonderful. It appears we have a winner. How many tokens does this level have? Um, <laughs> I'm going completely insane here. Capital Casino. 25. It seems like all of them have 25. Alright, hold on. Rudy slots. Is this like from one of the old games? Maybe this shows up in, like, one of the Bandit Kazooies or... Conquer. Bad, bad for a day. I'm oh, feeling... Ooh! Hmm. Oh, there we go. Lately. Huh. I just need to see okay, after capital B. after the banana. This is waiting. It's not very fun. This is like kind of match. Hey, Cardos. Howdy, fellas. Glad seeing you ain't just me enjoying a sinful break in Capital Casino. If Mrs. Cardo was found out, ah, uh, I was about her here trolling in the clubs, I'd be all hoops of trouble. I didn't think you'd be able to get into those sorts of places, being a minor. Oh, I see what you did there, pun. Ain't nothing stopping my fun. So, what say we go for a ride? Yeah, let's do it. We're ready, Cardos. Let's hit the rails. Hooray! Hoo yay! And then after, a few twirls in full Monty's to celebrate. Uh, we'll think about it. Y'all need 150 gems on this ride to grab the pages. Now giddy up. Do you need to know how control critters? No. Ah, this ain't your first rodeo. Y'all jump inside and let's go for a ride.
The Kirk music is really good. <laughs> I, I really like it. I'm already getting pretty good at it. Woo! Oh no. <laughs> Need a break there. Alright, I learned my lesson. Yeah, let's do it again. Pretty badly there. Oh, I won the last round already. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. Oh man, it's just so little too. Can I restart it? Restart. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it does require a little bit more precision jumping, which I actually really like. Ah! I think I got it, though. I think I got it this time. I think... Oh. Very similar amount to last time. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. This sucks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oops. I actually really enjoyed these. I really like these Cardos levels. They are very nice. I don't know why why I said that. Especially not why I said it like that. <laughs> I um uh, need some help. Yes. With this one clearly. Like it's not easy, but I enjoy playing it. Yeah, I'm getting a good amount so far. <sighs> that one is always so close. So is that. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm not making it this time. No way. Oh. That's insane. Okay, 
completely messing it up. Sixty. You just beat up there. Again, again. <laughs> I think you need to hit the hit hit the barrel. It's the only way. You speed up and hit the barrel. The first one. Kind of weird. I mean, you you can not hit the barrel. Oh, I messed up. Messed up big time. Okay, last try. I think I'm getting tired of, of the mini game. Even though I said I like it, I think I'm getting tired. Alright, at least I got that one. Oh, that's gonna cost me. One more time, one more- it's, it's one of those mini-games. I wanna keep trying it. Yeah, last time, last time. Come on. Stop talking to me. Just let me play. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's it. Oh, I, I don't like that you, you can't skip with B. You need to skip with A and accidentally, maybe accidentally hit the key you don't want to hit. All right, what's up with this? What's up with this? For one? Well, I guess that's not much of a challenge. What's up with this? <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. What? I, I clipped through that game. You can't... I shouldn't be allowed to clip through your collectibles. Just saying. Just getting the collectibles I need. I don't care too much about the quills since I've been getting a bajillion of them. What's in here? Another out of order thing. Is there like something to do with these? Or are they just out of order? Fruity slots. Uh. Whoa, what's that? Gotcha. Mm, anything else here? Oh, I can hover over here. I don't know what for. Oh. Oh. Is there anything over there I want to do? No. Huh, I wonder how I'm supposed to do this. You'd think that for capital B, he wouldn't have his minions as the fountain. It would be him. So this one's in the peeing position. Collectibles are all ground level. Which makes it a lot easier. There's the thing though, right? If you're gonna make the underwater levels the same thing, why not make it not 
Oh no, the camera is being weird. Yeah. Let me do it again. Yeah. What? Oh no. Okay. Alright. Wow, there's a lot of pictures of ukulele in this casino. <laughs> this cash capital B casino. Capital Casino. Like it's stuff like that. Like in I feel that in Banjo because there were also moments where you had like the pictures of Banjo. And Kazooie, but like, those weren't Gruntilda's worlds. It made a little bit more sense, at least to me. I might- I might be going crazy. And for some reason, like, in that game I didn't mind as much, maybe because it, it just felt like, more... You know, fantastic. This one seems to be more grounded, almost. Ding ding! Welcome, sucker! Sorry, sir! Congratulations for choosing the most profitable game in all Capital Casino. Guaranteed to have you robbed uh, rich within 3,000 attempts. I like the sound of those odds. How does it work? Simply match the tiles and become a winner. It's swindle... Uh, simple. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Go on then. Fruit features, let's play. Great, I'll show you the tiles, then you co then cover them up. You need to reveal the pair of tile slots within the time limit to win a prize. Got that? Let's start. This is minigame the world. This one. It's right here. This one. It's right here. I don't remember the, the other ones. Okay. Oh, it's easy. I thought it would, like, make me stop. This one's. Nope. Here. And. Pretty good. Com commiseration, <laughs> commiserations, blah blah blah. I read the first word and clicked. Oh dear, the boss is going to have me put in staff toys for this. Oh, we already have four pages in this world. Doing pretty well. This area. Oh, this is the. What is it? Uh, this world is really empty. <laughs> Just big and vast. Not much to do. What's over here? Oh, hey, robot. My bad. What's up with you? Warning, under construction. Okay. Please enjoy the main hall attractions. Return to your room. Okay. Been there, been there. Have I been to this one? What is this one made? Oh, this is just an easy access. Um, I think I'm ready to upgrade the size of this world. I think there's probably some more stuff I can do, but overall, I'm pretty good. Oh, hello. Still lugging that big laser round duck? Thought you would have scaled down by now. Oh. 
Indeed, there's still plenty of work to be done while that awful capital B remains at large. Speaking of which, I've made a big breakthrough with my incredible DNA. My next transformation is simply spectacular. Have you found this world's molly cool yet? We're still searching, Doc. We'll come back when we have it. And the other world, I just discovered that I haven't seen her in the two worlds between one and four. And uh, I remember it being pretty much impossible to miss. Uh, after the banana. Pretty much impossible to miss the. Okay, that's your top hat guy. Oh, I fell off. Any of these, like, power up people on everything in Banjo Kazooie or even. Ah! Uh, Banjo Tooie. Banjo 2A played recently, it's not as good as Banjo Kazooie. It already like suffered from being too big. If I'm being honest. Okay. And banana. Ooh, the molecule! <laughs> okay, we get our transformation. The token's in hand, dog. Let's do it. Like, I never never missed one of the... I forget his name in the original game. The Booga Booga guy. <laughs> the Booga guy. Are you ready to transform? Yes. What do I become? Whoa! Whoops, that's not how it looked in the manual. Oh. What does this do? Oh! I can untransform. Detransform? Retransform? Then I could do that. And it's not nearly as fun either to see how this one transforms. It was fun. Like, obviously it got tiring after a while, but it was fun to watch them transform. I don't feel like that in this one. Maybe it is to some people. I, I just personally don't feel that. What do I need to do for these tokens? Guessing that they're the prize for some one of these closed doors. Hello. Oh no no, good day, metal warrior. I seek great treasure, however, I'm currently burdened by bloat. Om nom nom. Thou will assist in escorting this. Brave knight to his destination? Yes. Om nom nom. Fine noobs, winged warrior. The clue to my destination is thus. To get me here, you'll have to zoom. Take me to the storage room. Got that? Oh, I haven't been to the storage room yet. Oh. <laughs> what? No, tree. Storage room. Where's the storage room? Hopefully it's not one of the closed rooms. Okay. Need a better vantage point. I can't. It's not a not much time. It can't be like crazy far. Storage room. They wouldn't let me do a challenge I can complete, right? Storage room. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Oh, did I press yes? I meant no. I'm gonna try it later. Okay, I did say no. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna try it later when I have 
the world expanded. So this is pretty nifty. I like the ability to, uh, to fly on. I am a fan of flying in games. Although this might not be the most entertaining flying in a game. I, I don't know, I just like flying. Even if it's not the best. Mario 64 flying, oh man. That felt really good to fly. Oh, oh. Can I go out like this? Hmm. I remember you could in Banjo-Kazooie, but just for a little bit. I don't know how it works here, because it's genetic modification. It's not by the power of a magic. Nope, doesn't work. All right. <laughs> the power of a magic. I mean, the power of magic, I guess. Please come find me again when you're in the mood for some top deals. That's going taking me to the last world. Gonna expand this one first. You'll need 11 of us pages to expand the world capital casino. Welcome to the wonderful Expanded Capital Casino. Please enjoy our fraudulent, I mean, fantastic game, new game. I think they just all opened. Yep. <laughs> that doesn't look open. I'm gonna try these, the, these. What are these called? Ah. What are those called? Pachinko machines? <laughs> I think they are. I think they are what we call Metal Gear Destroyers. Oh! Hey, banker. Oh, I like that. The, the music works for you to do that. I like that. <laughs> How you can layer it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. They get a few things right. They get a few things right. <laughs> a few details. What? It did open, but I didn't get through. Oh, what? Is there any secret to this? What? Are there any tokens laying around? What's this? Damn! What did this do? Did this open the back? It did. Okay. Oh, and it's enough time for me to get through. Got it. Okay, I, I went a little bit too fast. Not too fast, a little bit too much too far to the side. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. So. <laughs> You're like baby feeding me tokens. 
<laughs> game. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Is this it? Yep. Alright. What other games are there? They could have condensed all of these worlds so that they might even be the same world, like exactly, but they're smaller. I feel they could have done that and made the game feel a lot more populated without much uh, effort. Interesting game. I mean, it is Pachinko, but it's pretty simple Pachinko. <laughs> I want to do the other one. That's just easy winning. It was the worst casino ever. As in, it's too easy. I love that I got the, the thing that makes me run for so much longer. It just works so nicely. Alright. Pretty much immediate. What do the others do? What? I don't get it. make them change the way they turn? No. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's gonna... Yes. Alright. Still pretty easy winning. <laughs> Took a little bit longer, but... Not too bad. What's this one? I'm curious about this one. Alright. I can recognize this. We stand on the switch and blow the ball through the course easy. Okay. Wait. I wonder. There we go. This should be fine. Oh, I have time. I completely forgot. <laughs> completely forgot I was time bound. Mm. 
There we go, with 40 seconds to spare. Those always make me get really, like, focused down for some reason. This is because I find uh, the usual platforming just kind of easy, but the these actually, like, for some reason I require a lot more focus. I'm guessing I need to be, like, halfway up the ramp. To what? <laughs> it's funny that when you stop on the ramp as a ball, you don't fall. Here we go. Oh, this music is really weird for this game. I'm not a fan. Actually, I'm pretty indifferent about it. to the pattern? I don't know why I'm actually trying to kill all of them. It makes no difference. Nice. Wait, was there something there? Oh. Don't need that. There we go. I'm guessing that's the only prize from this section. That and the little tokens that break them up. Okay. What's the secret here? There we go. Alright. Oh, it's glass. <laughs> Kinda hard to see this one. The bright lights behind it make it difficult. Alright. That's one more. One more challenge. Oh, what are you up to? Pay no mind, peasant. I'm official night business here to help from a common loser. Yeah, so I need to find the other one. So I'm taking Chomps a lot, or whatever his name is, to. I'm still doing the same thing. I thought it would, was something different. It was actually like a place. So it's just where the other pigs are, but near the place that it. Uh, He's mentioning. Okay, I've gotten that one. I'm gonna try that one. So I need Red Ghost, Snowman, Rextro. I'm guessing it's gonna be a bunch of these challenges. Oh, we're back to the crazy. Electro music. Oh. Uh. Dr. Quack. Red. Squiggly yellow. Red squiggly yellow. Dr. Quack. Red squiggly yellow. <laughs> Memory games, man. Um. How? I guess it, I guess it could, that's kind of doesn't feel like the right way, but what? There we go. 
Duck. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, there we go, there we go. Dr. Quack, red, squiggly, yellow. Can I break these? Oh. Huh. I see. I see how it works. Can I push them back out? Oh, they come out. Okay. Can I do that? And then that. And that. And that. And that. Okay, I should be able to climb up. Oh no. Oh, I didn't find the puzzle. Probably on the side. Uh, what is it? Uh, blue, purple. Blue, red, Dr. Quack. Uh, purple and red. Bam, 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 bam. Perfect. Uh, oh no. Now it's should be. Okay. Blue, red, Dr. Quack, purple, Rexro. Blue, red, Dr. Quack, purple, Rexro. Blue, red. Alright, there's type of challenge. Uh, red, green, blue. See red, red. Where's green? Green. And blue. There we go. Physics. Physics! Physics are fun. Games yeah, like this. I enjoy seeing things act the way of physics. Rextro, purple, red, blue, yellow. Rextro, purple, red, blue, yellow. Rextro, purple, red, blue, yellow. Let's try it. Rextro, purple. Red, blue, yellow. Is that it? Oh. There was this challenge. Alright. What else? Oh, I need the... I, I'm pretty sure I need the helicopter for that one. Yeah, this this world's too big for its own good. Would really benefit for it. Oh, my. Shrinkage. Get out of here. Little casino man. Oops, that's not how it looked in the manual. Wonder what she was trying to turn me into. Maybe she says, just didn't pay attention. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. I couldn't see the projectile from behind. Like, you can't see it. Did you know? Gonna, oh. Gonna use that voice. Did you know? 
that before you wouldn't be able to see passengers in the helicopter in this game, but then because they ran out of time, they scrapped the idea. Okay, so. What are we doing here? We're just getting across. I'm guessing we're to be invisible. Oh no. Hey Kyle. He's saying, uh, my stream is for you never work and I am getting about 30 seconds of stream for 20 seconds of buffer. So with that, I am off. Enjoy yourself. Oh, that, that sucks. I wonder if it's on my side. I'm actually gonna watch it right now. Give me one moment, everyone, while I watch my own stream. No, it's actually fine. That's weird. That's, well, now I'm getting an ad. <laughs> I'm getting an ad on my own stream. No, it looks completely fine on my end, which is weird. It must be, yeah, like he said, it's something that happens to him. It sucks. Oh, can I, uh... Yeah, it looks fine. It's funny. I needed to recharge. Alright, I'm gonna stop watching my own stream now. I don't want to use extra bandwidth that I could be using for the stream, even though it's mostly upload. Huh, oh well. <laughs> I hope it's not something that's happening to him in a video. Okay. Oh, I see. Ooh. It's looking complicated. Charge. It's a lot of waiting, and waiting is not fun. That's the thing. I can't think of one game where waiting is fun. Waiting is never fun in a game. Waiting is never fun. Of them? No, there are probably way more, but like, of the ones I feel like doing in this world. I think that's pretty much it, and I think I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, going to end the stream. Oh, I, I need to get uh, camera. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Uh -huh. Hey, banker, we exchanged. There we go. Yeah. I have seven left? Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna try getting three more. <laughs> this is new, right? New challenge. Wager laser. Oi! Staff only! Doesn't anyone read the sign? Sorry, we just following the trail of quills. While you're down here, can you do me a favor? You're not the only trespassers today. Get rid of those card critters in the power room and I'll reward you. We operate strictly 
a strictly pagey up front business, I'm afraid. I ain't got no pagey, but you can have some of these casino tokens if you clear the critters. What do you say? Well, well, help. Oh yeah, I should mention that giant laser. Watch out for that. Let me help you get that door open. Should be pretty easy getting these guys. Oh, I see. That's, that's interesting. Interesting use of it. I wish I could... I could turn? Oh. oh, there's a bunch of you on this side. Can I get more? Yes, I can. Let me use one at a time. I could also just wait a little bit, honestly. I have to, like, clear all of them. This isn't easy. <laughs> To say the least. Ah. I don't like that they're spreading out. One's pretty in the way. Oh, I guess I could do that. Okay. Okay. Like I figured it out. Figured out a way of doing it. Alright. Can't glide on that either. Oh! Is that it? One more. So. How am I supposed to get all of them? They keep showing back up. I think I have a better grasp on how to do it, but it's still, oh, it's camera, it's still like, when it hitches, it really annoys me. Alright. Alright, now I'm done with this one. <laughs> like, I, I'm trying. I think I might need more meter. It's just not enough meter for me to go all the way around. Did I get a token? Oh, I think I get the token there. The play token, alright. the banana. There we go. It's gonna go straight to the machine. Can I not do that? <laughs> Alright. Friends, Rectro's glad to see you. And we're glad your memory is up to scratch, Rectro. Oh yes, Rextro enroll in new modern gaming college. Rextro learning about today's trends. Have you got a bit about skipping annoying character dialogue? That's add-on course. Typical. Let's power up your arcade machine, Rextro. 
Radical, Rex Rossi friends have play coin. Please approach the arcade and press A. If you beat game, Rex will give a special prize. There you go. Yep. Collect quills, jump and dodge, grab power up to get the high score. Seems like it could be fun. Oh. Weird. It feels weird, too. <laughs> this is, like, very mobile game. <laughs> We usually have three, three, uh, three, what, are, what do you call it? Rails? We have like three rails for the mobile games of these. It's interesting, I guess. Not very enthralling. Seemed like it had more to it, but it doesn't seem to. I think I have more than enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not my cup of tea, honestly. These are pretty basic games. This game is really long. What? I think I have enough. Ah. Oops. Pretty good. I'm not playing that again. That one was really boring. <laughs> well done! Uh, no thanks, you can friends only have live view from his bed. Feel free to try a game again. Another prize. Okay, you gave me an actual, actual page I was kind of looking for. Looking for qui not quills, uh, coins. This is Recharge, please. There we go. Uh-oh. 
think the game crashed. Again. <laughs> oh, no it didn't. Wondering what the point of this one is. Oops. Fun times. Try that again. Is there a maze? Is there an invisible maze? I can't see. Thanks, so. I think there is very much an invisible maze. I wonder if there's like an angle at which you can go to the middle. Because clearly that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> uh. Is it just a spiral? It, it looks like a spiral. Come on, attack me. Just really annoying. <laughs> Not doing that one again. Like, I get what I need to do. I need to stay in the middle and then go invisible, but it's really annoying. The thing is, it's not like hard. If I had enough patience, I could probably do it. I just think I'm getting to the end of my fuse for tonight. I don't want to put up with stuff like that right now. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, I'm looking for an easy out. I don't think there is one at this point. Uh, how many did I get total? Just curious. Cap oh, I could have just done that. 410. Not too many. Yeah, I think by far this is my least favorite world. It's boring. <laughs> it's a lot of mini games. Or mini game type things. 
it was not very fun to me, you know, maybe some people enjoy it, but personally, I don't find this very entertaining. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's open the next area. And stop. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna open the next area. I'm gonna stop at the... At the trouser, right in front of trouser. Just cuz. Just cuz. Alright. Let's go. World 5 to the left. Being invisible wastes a lot of power. Are there any butterflies around? Yes, there are. You're gonna be useful. Nope, I used them the wrong way. I'm pretty sure this is the place. The world fight. What's over there? I'm just gonna check out that place. Cough. Watch it, Yuka. The air here is more toxic than your old shorts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the new power-up lets me walk on toxic stuff. Let's get some protection. Oh. I'm pretty sure that our friend Trouser here is gonna give us... I keep using it the wrong one. Chris, 80% world on world? I love stats. Alright. This is where I'm gonna end. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I think next time we might finish the game, given how much we cover per stream, how much at least I cover this stream, I will probably be back tomorrow if you're watching live. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you around.